Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is an exciting one. It is an Amazon haul. Before I keep talking and rambling on, let's go ahead and jump right into the haul. Sorry if you guys can hear that wind. It is super windy outside. We're having a sandstorm. The first things I wanna talk about are a few things I got for Milo, things that I got for his play area. I will do a whole like play area tour for you guys if you want. He has his bedroom with all his toys, but we also created a play space in the living room. Um, so I'm gonna show you some of the things I got from Amazon for that that I think are really cool and really helpful. These little alphabet matching cards. These are so fun because they're like interactive, right? So here is the actual like alphabet flashcard and then they can put these letters, the matching letter inside of it. There's J right there and it says Jaguar on it. So it teaches them animals at the same time, but I really like it for a sensory. Um, Milo was struggling with sensory. He's doing better with sensory. If you don't know, Milo has autism. Um, so he was struggling with sensory and this really helps him to learn to touch things and to like to touch things. So I watch him, I say, Jay, Jaguar, orange, and I like say all the words and the colors and he likes to put it in there. So this is what it looks like inside the box and everything will be linked below. There'll be links for everything listed down below for you guys. I did get more flashcards for him from Amazon. I just didn't grab them, um, but I can list those down below too. So I did get Milo a few coloring books off Amazon. I will link those below too. Um, they're just basic like toddler coloring books. He likes them. They're cute. I'll insert some clips of them. The pages on them, they're like very big like numbers and letters for him to color. So I feel like it's it's appropriate for his age. We're still working on coloring. He's like stabbing the pages <laughs> with his crowns, but we're getting there. So for his crowns, I got this cute little crayon case. It is actually made by Crayola. Um, and they have like all different colors, but we got red. How adorable is this, right? And we have all his little crayons in here, his triangle crayons and then his regular crayons. I don't know if this is the small or the large size, but I'll leave it below for you guys too. But they do have two different sizes. And it's just a really cute container. I mean, it's not like, absolutely necessary you could get like any container you can find for crayons but i just thought this one was cute and it's like cute for a little decoration so yeah this crayola crayon case milo really likes to play outside in the backyard we have a lot of water toys we have a sprinkler for him um so he really likes to be out there he was wearing um like his little flip-flop sandals that he had um but we noticed that there were like a bunch of spiders and bugs out there in the backyard and i was like i don't want him to get bit by a bug so we didn't want him to wear those anymore but also we didn't want him to wear like his nikes because they get like really soggy and gross and i'm sure it does not feel good <laughs> so i was like well, let's get a pair of water shoes so the first place i decided to look was amazon on and they had a bunch of different choices but I fell in love with these water shoes they are so adorable they're like really it seems like they're very good quality um and then on the sides they like can they have like these little holes so it, it can breathe but it still covers like the, the top of his foot they have a bunch of different colors boys and girls um but yeah so these little water shoes so Milo is at that age where he doesn't need a bathtub anymore he has graduated to like the actual big tub like our jacuzzi tub he can like take a bath in there without his bathtub now and anyways he's three feet tall already so any bathtub like he was too big for like his legs would stick out of it so it was time for us to you know get rid of the bathtub and just use a bath mat so i found this one on amazon um and it fits the shape of our tub really good but it's um just black i think they have other colors too i just got black but yeah so it has like a bunch of little suction cups under it like a ton of them so you can just sit this down in the bathtub and they sit there and then you know you only put like a couple inches of water in there and he can splash around and have so much more fun instead of being in like a tiny little bathtub because he outgrew his tub so fast guys like he's so tall and it feels nice now i don't know if it's gonna be super comfortable because these huge holes but every single bath mat that i found for a toddler like every single one had holes like this so i guess we'll see but if i start to see that he's not comfortable then obviously i'll get a different one so for one of my baby showers someone gifted me like this really cool set of silicone plates for a milo and we really like them but there were only there's only two i think we only had two and we found ourselves reaching for those two silicone plates the most um so we were like well, we need to get more because like, we have to wash them non-stop if we only have two of them so i picked up this pack of silicone plates uh gosh guys these i'm telling you these silicone plates like they're just amazing. First of all, they're so easy to clean. But yeah, Ivan and I just love these plates. So this comes in a set of three. It's blue, green, and gray. <laughs> Boy, this next thing we got from Milo, some of you might not 
think it's necessary, but for us it really was because we needed peace of mind and most importantly we needed to protect Milo. Um, but since he just started walking, like he's, he was, not so much anymore, but when he first started walking a couple months ago, he was tripping all the time over his feet, over everything and hitting his head. Like he hit his head so hard, like, oh my gosh. Well, you guys, I'm sure if you're a parent, you know, like it's scary. Um, so he kept falling and falling and I was like, look, we got to do something to protect his head because it could, first of all, I know it hurts when he falls and hits his head. And then second of all, I don't want anything serious to ever happen, you know? So I found this soft helmet. It's very comfortable. It's very soft, but it really protects his head. He's fallen before and hit his head on his forehead with this on and didn't hurt him at all. He didn't have a bruise or a bump or anything. So this little helmet right here, I'm telling you, gives us such peace of mind. I'm telling you. So he wears this around the house um, most, of, most of the day, during the day, like when he's in his play area, there's a lot of things he can like fall over. And most importantly, it protects Milo's head. So yeah, this little soft helmet, um, they had a bunch of different colors and designs. I just thought this little bear one was cute. Okay, so a few other things that I can't really show you on camera right now in my studio because they're too big. These two sets of foam mats, um, they're kind of like giant puzzle pieces. And we got those for his play area. I'll insert some clips for you guys. And we got them so that it's more comfortable around his like table that he sits at and like plays and draws and colors. We have the foam mat there in case he would fall over too. If he like fell out of his chair, he could fall onto the, the foam mat instead of the tile. We had to get two packs for that area. One pack wasn't enough. These ones come with like edges to make it so it looks like actual tile it's like square so it doesn't look like a puzzle piece around the edge we did put those on but milo found them and just started tearing them out and started trying to eat them so we we're like oh no so we just decided to take those off so if you do like that look you have the option to put those on too okay so this next thing i saw on tiktok and i thought it was perfect for milo's snacks like his two favorite snacks that he eats all the time this is like a little dispenser for like any kind of snack or cereal that you like. It's like not necessary at all, but it just makes our life so much easier having it right there on the counter. Just turn the little dial and his little goldfish or his favorite Cheerios come out of it. And he eats those every single day, just about he eats those. So, uh, but yeah, I just think it's cute and it looks nice on our counter too. Okay, so these next four items are like for safety. These clear outlet covers, we had like a big pack of them, like I don't know, like 30 or something, but we <laughs> went through those so fast. We're like, oh my gosh, we really have like tons of outlets. Like it's insane. We didn't even realize we had this many outlets that he could get to in our house. And uh, the clear ones like this are really nice because they're clear, so you really can't even tell that they're on there. Not that that really even matters anyway. Like, I don't care if they are super ugly, I'd still put them for his safety. But if you do want them to look nice and clear, they do have these. And I think, I'm pretty sure this was a 50 pack. So I'll insert clips of this next item. Um, they go on our cabinet like handles so that Milo can't pull open the, um, the cabinets oh my gosh sorry I'm like so out of it obviously you can get these from anywhere but I just got them on Amazon so I thought I would include them we have a lot of our knives like our cooking knives and like cooking utensils in the drawers um and he's so tall that he can reach those drawers like he's been able to reach those drawers for a couple months now maybe like past six months Ivan and I were like we got to figure out something to like keep the drawers closed so we found these right here how they work is you just adjust the size that you need and you stick this like on the actual like cabinet and then you put this like on the actual drawer so this little piece stays on the drawer and then you just open it like this and then when you're done you just click it back and Milo has tried very hard to get into the drawers and he cannot. I think they come in packs of eight. Another thing for Milo's safety is we have very sharp corners on pretty much all of our furniture. A lot of our furniture is glass or mirrored. I, I was so scared that Milo was going to run into it. So I was like, I want those, I want something for the corners of all of our like sharp furniture, right? But I wanted it to be something that didn't look too ugly, I guess. I mean, it didn't really matter, but you know. Um, so I found these cute clear corner protectors. I'll insert them because we don't have any more left because I've used all of them. He has actually run into the corner of one of our tables with that on. Didn't phase him at all. So they do work really good and they're very, very thick, but they're, they're like a rubber, but they're like a hard rubber, but they're soft at the same time. I think they come in a pack of 50 also. And the stickers that it comes with, they're very, very strong. They're kind of like these, like the 3M. And then one last thing for safety is he, <laughs> like I said, Milo's very 
very tall and he's very curious right now at his age and he is starting to figure out how he can unlock the front door the garage door and the back door and we were like oh no 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 <laughs> so we needed something like a latch like higher up on the doors that he could not reach extra security i don't want him walking out the front door one day or walking into the garage there's a lot of Ivan's tools out there. So we got these latches for the tops of the doors. I'll insert clips of these two because obviously I can't show you them because they're attached to the doors. I think they come in packs of two. Definitely gives us peace of mind for sure because he is very curious, guys. He is trying to walk out the door. We're like, no, 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 no. So the next things, um, he is like outdoor things. So this first thing a lot of you have been asking me about since I showed it on my Instagram stories and you guys have seen when we take walks. We wanted to get him a wagon. Um, we have the Mima strollers, the two Mima strollers. and They're nice. He likes them, but he's so tall, guys. Like he's like growing out of them. So I was like, okay, we need to find something where he's not just sitting up straight, where he can like kind of move around a little bit, but still be safe um, because we go on walks all the time. We wanted something, so I was like, let me get him a wagon. I found a couple of wagons that I liked on Amazon but then I found this one folded up collapse it and it has a top on it but you can also remove the top and it's really nice really like it Milo loves it you guys like if he sees this wagon in the garage and he knows we're not going on a walk and we're like come on let's go back inside he will like cry he's like no I want to go on my wagon he loves his wagon like he loves it if he sees his wagon we gotta drop what we're doing and we gotta go on a walk either in the backyard or around the neighborhood around the park because he loves it so so much the only thing we don't like about it the wheels are made for like beaches off-roading like <laughs> you're going in like rocky areas or whatever so we notice on the sidewalk it gets a little shaky but it's like, once you get used to it, like you don't even know, it doesn't even bother you. At least it doesn't bother us. Um, so yeah, we did notice that though. And this is a push or a pull wagon. So we can actually push him. We can push him like a stroller or we can pull him too. Um, and I think it fits like three toddlers. So it's very spacious. It does not have a seatbelt. I wish it did. So we have to watch him because he tries to stand up. Like every once in a while, he'll be like, ooh, and try to stand up. But we're always keeping an eye on him. Uh, but yeah, it's really nice. It has cup holders and I can put my stroller organizer on it, um, on the handle. And he can have like his little snacks in there. He can have his books in there with his toys, his juice, everything. And he just looks around and he just loves it. They also have like a bug net cover and a rain cover for it. Uh, so yeah, this definitely is like his favorite thing right now for sure okay so for around milo's play area sometimes i don't want him to like walk all over the house like if i'm right there in the kitchen and my back is turned to him because i'm doing the dishes or i'm cooking i don't want him to like walk around and get into something maybe I know we have like all this safety and protection, but you never know, kids can get into anything. We got these really long baby gates. I'll insert clips right here for you guys. They actually attach, it's two of them. They attach together and we can like make one huge baby gate around his play area. So I know that he's having fun, I know he's playing, but I know that he's like in his play space and he's not going around trying to like, you know, get into something he shouldn't so yeah um these baby gates right here i don't i don't remember exactly how long they are so we don't use them too often but like i said if i need to do something and I, my back is going to be turned for a few minutes or whatever this is so nice like i know exactly where he's going to be all right last thing for milo is this cute basketball hoop we are building a basketball court um on our side yard we we turned our side yard into our backyard so it's like a one huge backyard now it's really nice and i've been wanting a basketball court for him over there so i was like hey let's get my little cute little <laughs> basketball hoop so he can play with his daddy so i found this little tykes one on amazon i'm pretty sure you can get it anywhere but i just found it on amazon i think it was like only 30 bucks which is not bad like, i've seen some that were like way expensive i'm like listen he's a toddler he doesn't need like a hundred dollar two hundred dollar basketball hoop he just needs like a cute little kids one you know uh, so I got this one right here we just like built it yesterday he really likes it so far he's only played with it for a day um, but I think once we're out there and I'm schooling Ivan in basketball <laughs> I think Milo will definitely be interested in his little hoop too and then it comes with three balls um, and then you can fill up the bottom with water or sand or whatever you want we just put water in it and that is everything that we got from Milo so let me move on to some home stuff I have an espresso machine that makes shots of espresso for me because I'm sure you guys saw my Instagram stories I was like what is this and you guys told me um, so it makes really strong shots of espresso I was using a shot glass for it but it was overflowing it wasn't big enough and then I found these on Amazon that are made specifically for my espresso so shot machine so they're these like double double walled that's what they're called double walled shot glasses two packs of two of these i also wanted some glass coffee mugs um so i got these double walled um coffee mugs it comes in a four pack i think it was like 39 dollars, which is pretty pricey honestly we've actually dropped 
two of these, so we're down to two. <laughs> they have different sizes. They have like real small like latte ones. They have like tea ones. They have these big ones. I just redid my office. I'm still in the process of redoing it. I'm still trying to find a few more things I want for it, but I put a bar cart in there. I've always wanted like a little bar in my office. I don't know. I just thought it would be bougie and I thought it looked cute. I don't really drink that much, honestly, but I just like the look of it. So I wanted some really cool drinking glasses for in there. So I got this set of two double walled glasses right here. I thought they were really cute and they look really nice on my bar cart. I'll show you a few other things I got on my coffee bar from Amazon too. Um, so this coffee rack, I got the small size. I think there's two sizes. I think I got the 17 inch coffee mug rack. Um, and it comes with four of the long hooks and four of the smaller hooks. I also got this um, glass like tray organizer for all of my espresso shot pods. <laughs> Special shot pods, yeah. It just looks really nice and it keeps me super organized. So that is from Amazon as well. Some new straws. The first straws I'm going to show you are these glass straws right here. I think it came in a pack of eight or ten and it came with the bent ones and the straight ones. And then I saw my girl Amanda Ensing talk about um, these silver straws on her Amazon haul. Okay, so there's the straight ones and the curved ones. There's a small size of the straight regular straws. There's a tall size size and then there's like a small size of these and then a taller size of these and there was a lot I think I got, I think I got two packs but I don't like to use plastic straws are so bad for the environment. Okay, so those um, stainless steel straws come in a set of 16 and I got two sets of those so yeah. We got hella straws now. Back to the kitchen. I found some really cool stuff for the kitchen. I was on TikTok. I don't post on TikTok too much. I should, but I'm always on there like looking for Amazon favorites or Amazon things that you need to buy. You know what I'm saying? And our spice cabinet, oh my gosh, was a disaster. Like it was to the point you opened it and you couldn't see anything. It was like jammed full. You couldn't see anything. I didn't even know if we were out of something. We had like four paprika like bottles when I cleaned it out because we just kept getting more because we couldn't see anything. And I was like, okay, this is crazy. Like we've got to organize these spices. So I had like one of our drawers right below our spice cabinet and it had like I think 12 of our spices that we used the most in there um but I still like didn't like it and it was too big for our drawer so it was like popping off the front of the drawer the the wood and it just wasn't enough for all of the spices that we had so I was on TikTok and I saw these amazing spice containers okay so I don't know I love organizing <laughs> I get like such a kick out of organizing. So I previously bought like circle glass jars like this um, that I still use, but I like that these were square glass and then they came with these labels. They came with so many labels, you guys, it was crazy. Like I didn't even realize that they knew like some of the spices that we had. Like I didn't even realize like it had a label. It comes with these round black labels or they have like white ones. I just like the black. I put our bay leaves in here, our pink Himalayan salt, like whatever we need. I'll like insert clips. We have I think 36 spices now and it keeps us so organized now. I have them in alphabetical order. We cook all the time. We love to cook. We have our family over. My father-in-law is a chef. He's always cooking here and I just know he was like Oh my god, every time you open our spice cabinet because it was a mess. Um, and these little like racks that they're sitting on are from Amazon too. This next thing is the most unnecessary thing. <laughs> but TikTok made me buy it. I've used it once and it works, but it's not a necessity at all. So, you know, TikTok made me buy it. So it's like a little tabletop mini vacuum <laughs> to clean up crumbs, which I guess can be like really convenient. I've used it like on our coffee table where Milo has like his little snacks and gets crumbs everywhere. But honestly, I mean, it works. I mean, it goes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it works. Like when I'm like, oh, I don't want to wipe off the table and I just like put the vacuum on there and it gets the crumbs off. So you know what else it could be really cool for is like a computer or your, like your car. It has a couple different settings and you can charge it. Things I didn't need but I bought because of TikTok. Right here, a mini vacuum. All right, this next thing was kind of a necessity because Ivan and I would argue about this. We can bicker about this all the time. He likes, like, he does the dishes a lot. He probably does the dishes more than me, honestly. We just, like, help each other out, you know? And he's a really good husband. When he does the dishes, which I'm so grateful that he does the dishes, but he would always leave, like, the actual bottle of Dawn soap on the sink. And I don't know, it's not a big deal, but I just think it looks so ugly. And I'd be like, oh, babe, put it under the sink. He'd be like, well, sorry, I forgot, you know? So I was like, all right, I gotta find something that's cute, okay? So I found these glass pumps. This has Milo's 
dish soap in it right now. But I, it comes in a set of two. You can pick the color you want. I just got black. I think there's gold, silver, maybe rose gold. I'm not sure. But I got black. Um, this has Milo's dish soap in it. And then I have another one that has our blue Dawn soap in it. And we just, I don't know. I just think it looks so much nicer. And it's like he doesn't have to reach under the sink every single time to pull up the Dawn. It's like right there. These, I'm pretty sure like I've seen them before. And they were like really expensive. And I was like, I'm not paying like 40 bucks for some glass bottles or some dish soap. Like there's no way. And I don't think these were that expensive. I've seen them on Etsy for a lot more. Um, I know that some people have labels on theirs. But I just like them plain clear like this and they're really cute. The next thing I can't show you because it's in <laughs> my bedroom. A lot of people have been asking me about this which I first of all it's adorable. I'm so glad I found it because it's exactly what I wanted. I wanted a vanity like a makeup vanity in our bedroom because I don't want to come over to my studio all the time to do my makeup when I'm getting ready. I don't know. This is like my workspace. So I made a vanity there. I took Ivan's old computer desk um, from Ikea. It's called The Mom. And then Impressions Vanity was so nice. Oh my god, so nice. And they sent me over this beautiful Hollywood lighted makeup mirror. I was like, alright, well I want like a little like stool, like an ottoman. Like I don't want like an actual chair. The perfect stool. It's like exactly what I wanted. I just thought it went so, so perfect in our bedroom and it matched my vanities. And it's really comfortable. So yeah, I got this cute stool from Amazon. I'm gonna move on to all of my new office supplies and things decor so if you don't know I am redoing my home office I showed a little bit of it in my last vlog the first thing I'm going to show you guys it's actually two things is this cute little acrylic holder and then I got these cute little pins they're like a set of five. They're just plain gold, like cheapy pens. But I really like that it had like the little jewel on top. I don't know if you guys can see if it'll focus. It has like a cute little jewel. And I don't even use one, but it looks so cute. I also got this cute like rose gold acrylic stapler. And the staples are actually gold too. It said it was gold on the website, but it's definitely rose gold. And this sits in the same tray as my pens. These are like really beautiful rose quartz coasters. I believe you can get them like in the round or the square shape, but I wanted the natural shape. I just think it looks so, so neat. And they're like translucent too. I don't know if you can see but they're like see-through too. They are just so pretty and it came in a set of four. One thing that we had to figure out was how to hide the cord to my desktop computer. Um, it's like just a huge white cord and since I wanted a glass desk and I wanted my desk to sit like in the middle of the room. I needed something to like cover the cord. So we got a few things for that. These right here. We needed something to attach to the computer desk leg that the cord could sit on and not be like sticking out of the side of the desk. So this has the cord running through them. I think there's like four of them. I'll, show, I'll insert clips. Um, and so it keeps it super like sleek and kind of hides the cord because it was, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you guys. I even tried to use scotch tape to tape the cord onto my desk. I was like, listen, no. And it didn't even stick, it came right off. So these little cord covers, um, it comes with a bunch of different sizes. Like it even has, like you can put like four cords. I think there's two cords and three cords. And then it has these little circular round cords. So it's something small, but it makes a huge difference. I mean, you don't see like this white cord running. It, it hides it so, so well. And I think they have like other colors besides black too so yeah this next thing is a banana leaf tree i've been wanting one for so long but i can never find the right one the right height the right size and i believe this one is five feet five feet or six feet tall so i have it right here i haven't found a planter yet for it so i just keep it in this gray one that we use for fall but just it's fine for right now but this is really nice and honestly this was not that expensive compared to what I've seen like on other websites and it's really good quality and the leaves are huge you guys so 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 pretty the next thing for my office is this cute bar cart <laughs> Like I said, I wanted a bar cart and I wanted it to be gold. I wanted it to be simple with just like two shelves. I was going to get an acrylic one, but I was like, no, I'm not trying to clean acrylic bar cart, this glass desk. No. So I just got this glass and gold bar cart. It's cute. It looks good. I had no idea these even existed. They are lifesavers. I promise you, if you guys like candles or like to light things a lot, you need one of these. Okay. This is a lighter, right? And the coolest thing about it is it recharges. You don't need lighter fluid. You just have to charge it. And it, you don't even have to charge it very often either. First of all, it's cool. 
It's like super sleek. I keep it in like this little gold leaf tray on the, what's it called? The credenza behind my um, computer desk because I always light candles in my office. So you just turn it on on the bottom. That's like the battery gauge. So mine is full. I guess I just, yeah, I just charged it. You just press this button up and it turns on. And I also got the wick cutter scissors. So these are like actually made for the wick. I don't know if you can see they're like angled. But then I realized after I bought these separately, you can actually buy these and the, what is that thing? The thing that like puts out the candles. You can buy all three of those in a set. So I can list these individually and list the set below for you guys too. And I think the last, I think this is the last thing from my office. The last thing I got from my office from this Amazon haul is this little round wireless charging pad for your iPhone. Um, so you just set it on there. It hooks up to your computer. Like I put it in the USB port in my computer and it just sits there. And whenever I need to charge my phone when I'm in there, I just set my phone on there and it charges that is all for my office um okay so the next things are beauty related it's only two things but again I watched Amanda's video and I saw that she used this for her foot and my heels get so dry here in El Paso like it's crazy probably because we're in the desert my heels get so so dry and Ivan was like babe mm. <laughs> He's always giving me shit about my feet anyway. But it's supposed to take off all the dead skin on, on your feet. I'm going to use it in the shower. Foot file. That is what this is called. So the last thing I got are these little razors for your face. It comes in a pack of six. So yeah, that is the little razors I use for my face. All right, guys. So that is it. That is everything from this Amazon haul. I hope you enjoyed this video. I really like doing it. I love seeing these videos. I don't know. I buy things I shouldn't buy when I see these videos but hey hopefully you get some ideas thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give me a like it really helps me out so so much and make sure you hit that subscribe button on your way out so you don't miss any more of my videos thank you guys so much for watching I love you leave some suggestions down below let me know what other types of videos you want to see and comment below if you like this video too I love you guys so so much and I will see you in my next one bye